welcome class 5 in your uh, science class as we know we have completed our uh, completed our uh, term 1 and i hope you have completed your term 1 very well without having any problem so now we will start the term 2 and before that pt 2 so for pt 2 amazing animals we have selected am amazing animal there are, uh, there is book you see this Uh, there are so many pictures are given isn't it so pictures are see them carefully the pictures are actually uh, pictures of uh, there is a scene of picture one is this is uh, this is duck then this is frog here within this tree we can see there is a nest for the uh, nest for this uh, bird and one bird is just Uh, trying to make a nest within the uh, within the uh, stem of the uh, tree, and one monkey is jumping all around, and one uh, this rhinoceros is there. Uh, so we will find their habitat. So at first, what is amazing one? We see animals are all around everywhere. In the desert, we can find the animals. Uh, ocean air and mountains these all are the places where we can find the uh, <coughs> we can find the animals so uh, what is habitat habitat is a place where a particular animal uh, naturally lives eats grows and reproduces is called its habitat so if we will see these all animals we will find this uh, duck is actually living in the water and sometimes it's come out from the water as well as frogs are habitat of living inside the as the water but the uh, uh, if you see the monkey monkeys are actually arboreal animals they live they try to live inside the tree actually they jump in the air from branch to branch from building to building so one place to another they just go on like this and that is why they are called arboreal animals now birds what about the birds birds are aerial animals they love to live uh, in the air but uh, within the trees they make their nest and they lay eggs in the trees or you can say they make the nest inside the tree and where they uh, used to lay their eggs okay now uh, <coughs> if we'll see if we, uh, the places where these animal lay eggs so the duck lay eggs inside the um, inside this pond or you can say they lay eggs inside the uh, uh, i mean um, just around the lake and this um, frog also lays eggs inside the water and their uh, their legs are actually within a mucilaginous layer a layer of a skin so that they are babies and uh, they are on the trees birds also lay eggs within the trees inside their nest and uh, this uh, rhinoceros is also a mammal it gives lays uh, it lays it do not lay uh, it does not lays egg it actually gives birth to the young one or reproduces by the <coughs> giving baby and they suckle their baby uh, milk okay and their body is full of hair and their ears are actually big ears so these all are the sign of mammal so the animals who are having big ears who give birth to the young ones who have hair on their skin they all are mammals okay now uh, few animals live in the polar region few animals are habituated of living in the desert few animals are living in the hill and where as few animals lives, uh, lives in fresh water so there are different uh they are habitat they are having different kinds of characteristics now first one is forest what is forest we know forest are 
large areas that contain variety of the trees and other plants. A large variety of animals live in the forest. Different animals live at different places in the forest. For example, lion and tiger live in the uh, cave or den. Birds and monkeys are on the trees. Snakes in the holes and rabbit in burrows. So these all are the animals who are living in the uh, forest, but they do, uh, but they all have a different uh, type of living place. Now, in the desert, we know desert is a sandy place, and in the sand can be seen as well as few kinds of spider uh, and uh, these all uh, kinds of things which live inside the soil or the sand. Okay, desert are usually hot and dry places. Water is hardly found in the desert. During the day, deserts are hot. At night, they are super cool. Okay, desert animals have special body features that help them to live. Some of them bury themselves under the ground during the day to keep cool and some other animal have thick skin they can move uh, in the daytime this thick skin actually protect them and they uh, have very less hair or a scarce number of uh, hair on their body so they do not feel um, i mean very hot in within the summer a camel stores fat in their hum and uses it as a food when needed it it can live without food and water for a long time. Long legs of camel help their body to keep away from the sand and their hum is actually storage place for their uh, food and the other content that means water and the food. Even 40 days a camel can live without food and water. Because they have stored food, they utilize this food within their Mm, uh, days when they do not get any kind of food and their bodies actually their legs are very long so they away from the heat and they do not get any heat strokes then uh, their eyelashes protect their eyes from the sand they have a very thick layer of a uh, skin uh, in front of their eyes so they protect it from their uh, from the sand because sand blows in the uh, daytime and sometimes the sand storms come which can harm their eyes and uh, in that time they cannot uh, open their eyes but they are having this special having the padded feet which feet are very useful walking in the sand okay now polar regions and the high mountains polar regions and the high mountains are very places they are covered with snow polar bear seals and penguins are found in the polar regions they are able to survive there because they have special features to protect them from the cold they have a layer of fat under their skin that keeps them warm some of them also have a thick fur birds living in the polar regions like penguin and uh, Petra migans have thick and dense feathers on their body. Why these arrangements have? Because uh, polar regions are actually very cold regions, no? So their body have to be protected from these natural disasters. So the polar bear have a fat, thick fat, which provide them food as well as they are providing them a insulating effect. What is this insulation? Uh, insulating effect? This insulating effect means that protecting them from the heat and cold both okay. so they can survive in the scorching heat when the sun rises in the snow it is very scorching as well as these uh, this kind of fat layer protect them in the night when there is a uh, too much cold and thick feathers when we go in the mountain region what we do we wear a leather jacket sometimes we wear the fur coat to protect ourselves from the cold but what about these animals they cannot buy this type of uh, sweater and coat so they protect themselves from the cold by the fur and uh, from their thick layer of the skin which protect them from the cold okay next is the ocean 
ocean is also a large habitat where a large variety of the fishes and other marine animals you can find blue whale octopus shark etc also found here and we know blue whale is the largest animal on of the world isn't it so ocean is also a very good and big habitat now if we'll see fresh water bodies here it is given a whale a frog and a salamanders so these all uh, pictures are given they are some of them are fresh water animals so what is fresh water the water which is not saline they are fresh water body so the fishes frogs salamanders live in the fresh water frog and salamanders can live both on land in water that is why they are called amphibians so what are amphibians frogs they uh, they are able to survive on the land as well as in the water okay so there are two questions the surrounding in which a animal naturally live it's called it is a habitat okay so the first one is if we'll write the first one is uh, the surrounding in which in which animal lives is called so i'm not writing all the uh, um, alternatives so the answer is what it is called this is a habitat okay and now the next one is which of the following is an aquatic animal which of the following is a aquatic animal so the answer is three alternatives are given here whale penguin and camel so we know this is whale okay so that's all for the day and we will uh, do other uh, questions in my next class thank you for the class